when polishing these plastic handles, it's important that the polishing wheels stay fairly fluffy and don't get too clogged up with a polishing compound. So here's an example. This one's like really, it's pretty hard, the polishing compound on there. And it ends up just scratching the surface more. So that's too much polishing compound. It, should, it shouldn't cake up that hard on there. So what we're going to do is going to use this rake to rake off the polishing compound and kind of renew this buffing wheel. You just use this rake and rub it across the surface. Now the rake is really, it really tears up the the buffing wheel fast, so you don't want to do it too much, but you just want to do it enough to clean off the wheel so it's back to its original kind of fluffiness. See, we've already, we've already removed a lot of that, that caking up. I'm just going to do it a little bit more just to make it a little bit more fluffy even. You see the difference? Now the only downside is that that that, um, that rake, um, it's metal, so it makes the surface of this black. It blackens the surface, and there's still some, there's still quite a bit like caked up in there. So let's do some more. Maybe I need to turn it up a little bit at a faster speed. As you saw, don't use the, the front. I always use the back of it because you saw how easily wanted to grab that. Okay, we're getting there. Still some, still need to get that built up compound removed. Okay, that's getting better. I'm worried I might just end up wearing it down a lot because you can see all the fluff building up on the back here that's being pulled off of it. But it seems like the compound is just kind of going down with it. <clears throat> I'm gonna use another piece of wood here. Trying to get some of that compound off. There's still some compound right here in this area. Okay, that was a lot of raking. It's finally kind of clear of the buffing compound. The problem is that we've, I've reduced it far enough now. The problem is I've reduced it far enough now that the, it's getting close to the next stitching. And I want this to be soft, the soft wheels. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove that stitching layer and then it's gonna soften up that wheel a little bit more. Okay, here I'm gonna remove this layer of stitching. We can use some snips. 
and cut these threads. So then you can try to pull some of these out. There we go. It makes the fluffy. It makes it fluffy again because we've removed this layer of threads, and so it allows it to open up and spread out a little bit more. So this wheel has, this polishing wheel has been renewed now. There's, I don't feel any compound in there. The only, the only thing is the, is it's a little bit dark from polishing the metal. The polishing wheels would always turn dark from polishing the metal. I was able to remove some of it by using a stick of wood and then I was able to cut these threads away to get it to fluff up again. Now, when we go to apply some more compound, I'm just gonna apply some, a little bit of compound so it's not caking up too much. Let's see what that looks like. Um, probably gonna need a little bit more than that, but let's go again. Okay, that's probably good enough for right now. Don't want to get it let don't want to let it cake up too much on there. Add just a little bit more. Okay, that's plenty. Um, it's gonna increase as we use it, but you just don't want it to get hard, super hard. So now I'm gonna go to polish this handle. Last time it rubbed on it a little bit. Let's see what it does now. Definitely a lot more fluffy and soft. Now it's polishing with crystal clear clarity again.